Hi, I'm Kelsey Zeiser. I'm a senior editor at Light Reading, and I'm joined live by... Oh, that's me. I'm <laughs> Phil Harvey. I'm also an editor here at Light Reading. <laughs> nice to see you, Phil. <laughs> Thank you for having me on your your podcast, which is uh, not... It's, it's gotten into the real world now. We're in video and yeah, we're, we're, we're live with we're, 3D. Yeah, yeah, people can like walk around <laughs> us and stuff. That's kind of weird. Anyway, yeah. what am I doing here? Well, we're here to talk about the Leading Lights Award. Uh, king of segues, I am. Yes. yes. Yeah, um, uh, I, I mean, the 2023 Leading Lights uh, entries are, uh, we're open for entries now. The contest is in its 19th year. Whoa. Which is hard to believe. Yeah. And pretty soon we're going to have the hard work of, uh, taking a look at all the entries and trying to determine the finalists. That's the first step of the process. Um, well, actually, the first step of the process is everybody get your entries in because this, this is uh, uh, the contest this year has 22 categories. We've broken it up into um, kind of broader categories. So there's wireless, overall excellence, uh, broadband, uh, and uh, digital transformation are kind of our four overall themes and then within that we have you know a certain set of categories some old some new that uh folks can enter we have awards for companies we have awards that are targeted towards services we have awards that are targeted toward specific technologies and products so it we try to as best we can as difficult as this is we try to cover you know the uh, a pretty broad uh, kind of blanket to cover the, well, the, the I'm, I'm going to start that sentence over again. <laughs> we try to cover all that's going on in the global communications uh, industry with an emphasis toward the trends that are sort of shaping the companies, you know, in the immediate future. Right. So that's why you're seeing things like, um, you know, we, one of our new categories is called digital equity all-stars where we're really focusing on uh, companies, individuals, and organizations that are helping out marginalized communities, not just getting them connected. Of course, we have a, a digital divide category as well, but the digital divide, you know, getting that connectivity to people is just part of it. The rest of it is we have to give them the technology. We have to give them the access to the technology. We have to give them the education around that. Affordability. And, yeah, the, make it affordable. There's so many companies that are doing these um, one-off projects to help this along that I thought it's it's uh, not not to mention all the nonprofits that are kind of dedicated to this. So that's one example of a category that kind of came up out of a need, you know, where we just said, this is what the industry is right now. Mm -hmm. You know, we need to uh, get more people uh, connected and to get them connected, we need that extra help. And so we're trying to recognize uh, companies and organizations in that space and then, of course, we've got, you know, all that's going on in broadband, you know, so we've got broadband service provider of the year, uh, most innovative broadband access. And then we have use case categories in both uh, consumer broadband deployment and uh, home network intelligence. Um, in the past, we've had home networking categories. But they were kind of limited to just uh, yeah, there were a lot of IOT devices. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was Things like that. It was very uh, it was very much, uh, you know, kind of uh, product centric. Right. Now we're really looking at what is the story around uh, the use of AI and intelligent uh, management of data within the consumer home and how well is that complexity being hidden from the consumer? And then how is that data being used in a smart way to um, either save energy or provide a better experience, or save the service provider money on deployments, or ideally all all of the above and then some. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's a really good point too. Just um, for general submissions, for advice for people, is building that story of what what's unique about it, what's mm -hmm. the overall impact, and not just hey, we're the best at yeah. this. <laughs> Like, I'm sure you're great, uh, but right. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Let's <laughs> understand the broader context of how yeah. this fits in um, with you know trends in the industry, and uh, it's always helpful to have a specific use case to mm -hmm. a customer um, use case or. Um, just some very specific examples. Uh, please don't copy and paste from press releases. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dear God. 
<laughs> well, I mean, we know the the marketing copy that people use. It tends to, of course, put, they they want, they're always trying to position themselves relative to their competitors. But what we're actually looking for in this awards process is a story. We want a story of how your technology or how your company or how your efforts have made a difference or will make a difference. That story needs to have, like you said, it needs to have specificity. It needs to be interesting. It can't just be a bunch of buzzwords. It's got to be written for human beings because human beings are going to be judging, um, you know, the, the, the entries. And we know we're not, you know, this isn't a product versus product thing in the, in the um, mathematical sense. We're not just putting these things into spreadsheet and going, okay, this one has a higher number here and this one has a higher number here and that's why this one's the winner. We're looking at the totality of it, you know. It, for products, it will be about reach and deployability, but it's also about innovation and uniqueness. You know, are the are you really doing something that no one else can do? Right. That's yeah. that that goes a long way. Even if you're not the market leader, that's that that's interesting enough to give us a, a reason to say you could be a finalist in the leading lights because that's what the whole purpose of the awards is 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 to call attention to the various things going on in the industry, folks on the outside looking in can see at a glance, wow, this you know, industry's got a lot going on and, uh, it, it, and is covering a lot of ground. I mean, that's part of the challenge of doing this every year is just how, uh, how many categories we, we cover and how uh, wide the technology spectrum is you know, that all these companies are addressing. Right. And it's also really important to use the option of adding links uh, yeah. into submissions. I believe there's uh, three links, but some people even will submit, uh, you know, a Google Doc with a bunch more yeah. links, which is, you know, that's fair. We gave you the opportunity and yeah. um, that's really helpful. So, you know, I can, of course, do a Google search, but if there's something specific or a video that you'd like us to watch or, um, you know, maybe there's a white paper that isn't online yet or is gated. And if you can send that, that's really helpful yeah. uh, to get some background information. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because, yeah, the, 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 the backing, the information backing the entry is just as important as the wording and the phrasing and the story of the entry itself because we're gonna take that story and go, wow, I'm intrigued. Now I need to prove that this stuff is going on or I need some more context as to how it matters. That's where you go into the research, you look through the links. Um, yeah, we do allow for them to have one link that's just a link to a Dropbox or a Google file where they can kind of nest a bunch of other things to help sort of back up the story. Don't just chuck a bunch of stuff from your hard drive in there, you know, organize it, walk us through it, make, make sure that that somebody who doesn't know anything about your company can open this and see what's going on and kind of take that information, back up the story you've told earlier. And that's what I think, you know, gets an entry into the finalist category. Yeah, that definitely sets it apart. And it, it's, it's easy to tell who spent a lot of time thinking about their submission, talking to their teammates before they did it, mm -hmm. uh, versus those that you, you can tell who did it the night before. <laughs> hey, <I laughs> there's no links. There's yeah. a lot of just marketing jargon. Yeah, and, um, that's not really going to get you very far, and it makes us frustrated. Well, if, if you, you can't tell, I know. <laughs> <laughs> if you hire, if you hire a PR firm 48 hours before the awards closes uh, and you tell them to put in an entry, they're going to just cut and paste from documents that already exist. Right. And this actually requires a little bit more of a, a connection to what you're doing to really make it stand out. And and I say that only because the first round of the leading lights is judged by light reading editors. That's who determines who the finalists are. Then we bring in the panel of outside judges. That's what's, uh, you know, separates the the winner from the rest of the finalists. Mm -hmm. But even then, you know, uh, our editors' opinions get kind of watered down in that final process. So we have, uh, we have a, a lot to do with determining finalists. We have a little bit to do, we, you know, we're one of many voices that determine uh, the winners. And so somebody asked me the other day what the difference between a finalist and a winner really was. And I would say the winner is somebody that's picked among the finalists by a consensus of people. The finalists are simply the ones that stood out to our editors in you know, the, 
the bucket of companies and individuals that entered. Um, but on paper, not a lot. <laughs> you know, if you got to be a finalist, it means that our editorial staff was comfortable enough putting you forward that we think any one of these companies could win. Right. And, and if, if we're going to put our neck out like that, then you can be proud of that distinction as a light, uh, leading lights finalist. Exactly. Yeah, you've done a really good job to get there. Absolutely. Um, are there early bird rates or deadlines that we should share? Yes. Uh, Save some money? Yeah, in fact, I would say go to, uh, go to the website, go to lightreading.com, search leading lights. It'll, we'll, we'll have the uh, uh, information on the timing and the pricing and that sort of thing. Um, I'm trying to remember it off the top of my head, but I think the, uh, uh, the early bird uh period is about a month long the regular price period is another month so you do have a, a full 60 days to get in entries and then we immediately start uh, uh vetting those entries and digging in to find out the finalists so um so yeah just go to go to lightreading.com we'll, we'll continue to have leading lights related content on the site or you can search leading lights if you get completely stuck send an email to marketing at lightreading.com and we'll will direct you to whichever document or whatever. And, and once you get to the Leading Lights um, subsite page, there's also an FAQ on there that has additional information because there's some sort of fine granular questions that we address in there that that, right. uh, that are too boring for this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and there's no limit too on how many submissions you can put right. in. Yeah, there are companies out there that have um, you know multiple things going on in, uh, you know, and they'll have something going on in broadband access, great product. They'll have a good deployment they want to talk about with a customer so they can, uh, you know, co-enter with their customer. They uh, are also working on helping out the digital divide so they, they could enter again for that. And then if they have Digital Equity All-Stars or some program that they're sponsoring on that, they could grab that nonprofit and co-sponsor an entry with them. And so that's, you know, that's, I'm thinking of a couple of companies in particular that's like, four completely different types of entries, yeah. you know, in a single thing. So, yeah, I think uh, I think this year more than any other folks can see um, that there's an opportunity to get recognition for for not just the main thing your company does for right. revenue, but for all the things your company stands for. Yeah. So helps to think outside the box. Yep. Yeah. Great. Well, anything else that people should know? Uh, no. Good luck. No, yeah, good luck. That's it. <laughs> Take you, luck. You, you got to get through Kelsey. That's that's. <laughs> she's the gatekeeper. <laughs> Wishing you all the best. <laughs>